2 per un altro gameplay di gioco caccia ai trofei ripendiamo dove ho lasciato ieri a Red Dead Redemption 2 Ok. In teoria dovrebbero mancare quattro missioni da fare oro. Cerca di capire quali fare. Beh, innanzitutto si potrebbe fare questa. Va bene, proviamo. Si è perso. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that. Okay, let's go. I feel like we ain't done nothing together like this since... Since, uh... Since forever? Maybe not forever, but a long time. We ain't had the time, you know? We've both been working hard. And now we got something to show for it. The ranch. This life. It's so nice, John. May I help you, my lady? <laughs> oh, John. things we still needed. We can buy them from that catalog. Let's go have some fun. I know your idea of fun, John Marston. 
<laughs> I ain't had a drink and well, I left those things behind me. No, I mean good, wholesome fun. Like uh decent folk have. We decent now? I guess. <laughs> well decent or not, I've still got some errands to run. That's fun. What would you like to do? Maybe get our portrait took for starters? Portrait? There's a fella in town who takes photographs. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. Me and you. Okay? Okay, then. Sure. Is there anything else you want? I don't know. Let's just walk around and see where it takes us. I do have to be back by dinner time. Uncle Jack and Charles will manage fine without you. Hell, looking after themselves may even be good for them. <laughs> They'll starve. And that may be good for them, too. With any luck, Jack, let me help you down. You're acting kind of funny. I am kind of funny. <laughs> A different kind of funny. Am I annoying you? No. I like this version of you. It just... It just ain't you. Well, maybe I've changed. Finally? I don't know. Well, hello, madam. Sir. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever, there, to release the next one. How about this one? It's dramatic, ain't it? <laughs> Let's see what else they got. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. That's nice. It's like being back home. Was that all of them? Ah, this one. Wonderful. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River. But they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. Well, this is dignified. <sighs> Try to enjoy it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Be quiet. I thought you were a cowboy, not a poser. How's this? Perfect. Now, give me a minute. I'm going... What shall we do now? There is one thing I hadn't done. I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Never? No. Well, come on. Let's go do that. You sure? Of course. It's the marvel of the age. I love marvels. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's playing? Something called sketching for sweetheart, I think. Oh, hello. Two tickets, please, to see sketching for sweetheart. That'll be 50 cents, please. Okay. What's it about? I have no idea. Thank you again. Come on in. A mystery awaits. Well, we've seen it. Be seen. All right. <laughs> we better get home. <laughs> oh. We never get out. The farm will be fine. <sighs> the farm. I love hearing that. Let's go down to the lake for a minute. The lake? Sure. <laughs> Why, you finally gonna drown yourself? <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I guess I am. <laughs> Happily so. You're acting real strange. <laughs> no, I'm not. Come on. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? 
Oh, well, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said, mighty strange. I like to row. <laughs> Since when? You can hardly swim. I don't plan on capsizing. I wonder whose boat this is. It don't matter. We'll have it back. I hope they don't think we're... They won't think anything. They'll think we're borrowing. I hope it don't got leaks or nothing. She's seaworthy, okay? <laughs> Relax. Look around. All I can see is a strange man rowing. <sighs> Here's good. Ain't it pretty? You... E così ne mancano <coughs> tre. <coughs> che palla sta cosa. Eh. Qualche frangente che non ti fa salvare. Perché lo so lui. Ok, adesso cerchiamo di trovare le ultime tre missioni.
proviamo So you happy? I think so. You want to work? Let's do it. You ready? Follow me. We're going up into tall trees. Hey, it's nice of you to stop by and see the place. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to, uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was... It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or, it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither, but <laughs> it's something I've thought about, and I, I think, I know, I want it. Okay. I guess I thought you were married already, long ago. No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. We're cutting off the main track up here, by Manzanita Post. So, we're coming up on where he's been seen. This moron accountant, Marshall Thurwell, been trying to live like an outdoorsman. Camping out here. He's lucky the Skinner brothers ain't found him. Well, they might have. <laughs> up here. Must be it. Get down. Let's take a look around. Something's been here. This... This looks... Looks like a bear or something came through here. <sighs> and fell a lot. Here. Oh, he was from the south. Whoever he is. Then maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. Yeah, it looks like they went this way. Him or the bear? <laughs> Both of them. Okay, I think I got him. Follow me. There's a cabin up here. My God, what monster did this? That our Kill that bastard. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. You alright, Joan? 
Yeah. Ah. Just we always find a way to almost get killed, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's kind of the problem. Maybe it wasn't right of me to bring you along on those really heavy things. Family man and all. Seeing all this? I don't know if I can do it again. I'm my own man, ain't I? I get to make those calls. I needed the money. You are your own man, sure. But I'm my own woman. And I get to say who I ride with. And I don't know if your ranch and your kid and your wife are things I want to be worrying about when I hear a gunshot. Yeah, fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I spend my cash on... Who's this up here? Is that... Are you Sadie Adler, ma'am? Drop him! <laughs> eh, dai, madonna, che cavallo di merda. Muoviti. Sicuramente col tempo non ci sto dentro. Te pareva. Sembra così, eh?
Can I help you there? Sure. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and everywhere and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met you go to the stables on the south side of the manor that's where they keep the thoroughbred get up See the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. Uh -huh. How are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd 
be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Staples just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. <coughs> All right, let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchased or for working. Is that what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Uh -huh. Three, sir, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Whoa, whoa. Easy, Easy now. Whoa. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Hey, easy now. Ma vai a fanco. Non capisco il perché. Ci devi mettere due anni e mezzo ogni volta. Fa sta, sta, sta merdata. Che palle. Che palle.
Ma se me l'aveva dato? Pronto? Chiamami? Scusa, ma io mi ricordo di averlo già fatto quello lì. Perché non me l'ha tenuto? C'è qualcosa che non mi torna. Questo l'avevo fatto. Ma scusa, ma quante missioni... Qualcosa che non mi... 1, 2, 3, 4, va bene. <coughs> Poi 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, ok, 13, 14, 15, 16, poi 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 e 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 54, 
55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. Non oh, è così poche, a me mi risultavano di più. Mm. Quindi ne mancherebbero 4 e non 3. ma forse l'altra volta l'avevo fatta come aveva detto lui è stato velocissimo cioè nonostante non è bastato che anche lì non capisco well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon a what? a man of words so where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes because what can possibly go wrong there? well Lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. You're too far ahead. è lui che è lentissimo come on hang back a bit and let me do the talking we don't want to scare him off Holden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, fella. Okay, let's go. This way. Ha! What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, 
The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that mock business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. Here we are. This is the spot. is right on time let's go keep your distance so they don't see you and please leave that gun in its holster for once i'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop you hang back don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing I hope you don't find my singing. Not at all. I prepared. Oh, it's a free touch. Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Uh, would, could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a man. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. <laughs> I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this month. I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. My niece, of course. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Yep. Well done, sir. Well done. You did it. Tanto come al solito. Big a poco lo. Niente di non già visto. Che 
pazienza e ce ne sono parecchie Sì, questo si può fare. Adesso Hey, Reverend. Where did you go off? Charles. Be right with me. Always. Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's country brute country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. I understand. What are we doing now? We're looking for a place to hold up. You keeping it together? Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. Oh. I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah. <sighs> the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? It's probably a good idea. Okay, good. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. You did good getting the others out of there. Keeping everyone together? Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Guarma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh... I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure our Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Yeah, you're right. Just... 
It's been. I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. Should be some canoes down to the right here. Well, I see one anyway, and that'll do. Come on. Okay. Butcher Creek is a few miles up river. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and eagle flies. The Indians? And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. That's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. And we're gonna need to be careful. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Great! Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here, it's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near, even the law. So just be ready. It won't be pretty. So be it. Your creek up ahead. Who are they? The locals. Well, they don't look too friendly. Wait till you meet the Murphys. All right, let's walk it from here. Good evening. you help us? We're trying to find a spot called Beaver Hollow. We don't take kindly to outsiders around here. Come on, they're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. These Murphy Hills, stranger. Might watch where you wander. if we get him back by morning. Hey. Yeah. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. They ain't exactly a welcoming place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased with. Well? No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. 
They might have lookouts around. Okay. You see that up ahead? Slow down, keep it quiet. It could be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me, stay quiet. Let's get closer to him. Come on, up this way. Definitely Murphy's. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Yes. Good job. Oh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Surprise them in there. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Ready? Let's get this over with. You see that? Someone's coming out of the cave. I'll keep watch. You deal with that one in the entrance. Quietly.
sons of bitches! Others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> I know. Yep. It's all right, miss. Why would they? Some folks is just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. I haven't slept in days. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith, and this will all be over. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining in cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. Just try to relax now. Just head for the main street. It'll be easier to walk from there. This is yours. Up at the top. Oh, that, that's okay, ma'am. You just keep it. Adesso <sighs> qualcuno che ho vedrai che sarà sì, ma no. Argento. You get on, okay? Found a girl, took her home. Oh, you and Mike can find anything? Get back to work. Yeah. <sighs> Beaver Hall. come al solito adesso magari col fatto che ho perso tempo quando ho rallentato il tempo dice che non ho portato la ragazza in tempo vediamo 
Tanto qualche scusa ci serve per non far bene loro. Oh, maledetti. <ride> Conosco i miei polli. Sti cavoli.
Proviamoci. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and we'll disappear up the river. But first we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. <laughs> These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol should be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Arthur. I'll plant the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. So, you finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Arthur. One by one. Okay, let's go, Arthur. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. position my spotter will let us know when they're near they're coming now ah damn patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be <laughs> don't worry that's a good thing okay that's the signal here they come stay low and quiet you sure you don't want me to man that plunger Arthur no I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your
Regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is going to strengthen your case after this. I have a bad feeling about this. We said no but he would be killed. It's done now. If Colonel Favors finds out it was us, that's what he is. He tried talking. We should get out of here soon, though. I agree. Find anything? Shit! Peter. This area is going to be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We got to leave now. What about eagle flies? We got to go, Arthur. Come on. Oh. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. You're just another shit. I guess I'm... Get behind something, Arthur! somewhere.
No captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh... We can't do that. Your man... Those men they killed? They were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. We can't fight nature, Captain. We can't fight change. We can't fight. Speriamo, siamo tutta una sbata per niente. Oh, bella lì. Ne mancherebbero tre.
working hard. <coughs> it's gone. Find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take a little money. You pay for slow. You always say they go to the house. Through. Sally. Ah, Sally, so much. Sally, come back. 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 Sally, come Stai dicendo? Ma tu sei tutto scemo. Detto che ci vediamo dopo e abbandonato tuo zio. Ah, oh, che pazienza. Oh. Working hard. <coughs> It's gone. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? You today, sir. Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? <laughs> What took you so long? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> That first barman I met, he told Folks me Charles still love was here. a surprise, <laughs> but they hate Not a massacre. Mystery, and you are a killer. <laughs> We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. Sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, 
a ferocious battle from the valleys, salmon of whales, and on my right, an Indian Hercules, the savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, and some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. I don't Watch yourself, fool. Maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> That pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. Hmm. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me, Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. Yeah. They picked up Strauss, yeah. the agents. Hello? Made a real Hello? mess of them. I heard he died in custody. I never said a word. Huh. Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, we go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> Too well. Anyone? 
Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, the better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Very ham. Little more early. Che palle, che palle. Cosa non è andata bene stavolta? Le facciamo come coglione. Working hard. <coughs> It's the lumbago. All right, let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure, let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slum. Now, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums?
Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. So still love a surprise. Ask that first <laughs> barman I met. He told me Charles and was here. A killer. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries, it turns out. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. <laughs> sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. <laughs> Bags on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out, gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur. Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in this Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have. Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. Well, he wasn't a good man. None of us were. But, uh, maybe he was true to himself. Him and his code. <laughs> that pig-headed bastard. You get sick like that, I guess you... You gotta cling to something. You was hoping to come out of it. Hope was about all he had left. Maybe all any of us have. <sighs> anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know... He ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me, Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? 
Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Nah. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. You stay away from me. Okay. Come on, John. I'll drive. Hey -ya! Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. I need to get out of here. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Denis ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his okay, pocket. Okay. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? <sighs> I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate San Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. Oh, evviva. E con queste me ne mancano due. Questo è il salvataggio, che palle, oh.
まあ Just one time, I hope to find you working. Just... I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. In the black corner. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. This is him. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna... Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, put up from a gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin? You're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them, but California. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. saying before just like we were and they're friendly real friendly oh yeah Ugh, it's a bad situation down there burnings killings you name it i know something of that and not much law except the sheriff of tumbleweed he's making a hell of a go of it but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos it's real wild country Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. 
Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about? Was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They I should do it. Should I find him, huh? So back to what I was saying. They ain't nice. Guy up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you. Come calmly and nobody will get hurt. You got him? I think so. different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. This place still gives me the creeps. Huh? Hit your horse up here. Hello. Bring Cortez round the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred. Three hundred for her head. Be quiet. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <clears throat> <clears throat> He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. 
Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. Wait a second. Okay. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take two hundred dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty, but we won't take two thousand dollars from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Ha! Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Whoa, whoa! Easy! Come on!
Might just be. Son of a bitch. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Packing a lot, I see. Okay, let's go. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. You are a dead man. The, the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mister, gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting. And the killing. Here we are, back again. Looks like. Come on. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just came.
Qualcuno che ho sicuramente non è oro. Ci sarà qualche cagata, qualche impedimento, qualche porcheria che non è andata a buon fine. Oh. Eh. Fischia. Sensazionale allora. Aspetta che salvo subito. Ne ma... Ah no, l'ho già preso! Fantastico! Finalmente! Ultimo trofeo offline! Perfetto ragazzi! Adesso non so se stasera riuscirò a collegarmi, male che vada domani, riusciremo a fare ancora una bellissima partita Red Dead Redemption 2, a caccia ai trofei, ma incominceremo finalmente con la parte online. Vi ringrazio per avermi seguito e ci vediamo per il prossimo gameplay di gioco, caccia ai trofei Red Dead Redemption 2. Ciao a tutti e buona serata!